and they even took the crossing penalty. That's alright, we'll show them our Swedish domin... Okay, quite a few of the enemy. want to integrate Saxony, but that might prove a little difficult. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. No regrets. is just flooded with red here. Oh, I meant to read all this. Maybe I'll slow down the game a bit. Jake, when you give the AI ducats, how efficiently does it use them? About as efficiently as anyone else. First step is it raises an army, and then it pays off any loans, and then it would just use them to uh, to make buildings. It ain't rocket science. A golden horde, nothing special in all of this. And they do bring a ten stack to the table. Well, what have you? I'll just uh, make a march on Constantinople. He'll probably have to take a beating if he wants to come and get it. Jake, your cathedral in Kiev, it's not founded yet. Bang! Get it done in one shot. Alright, so really the only aim of this game is to return Ragusa, however it is a, I believe it's an important centre of trade. So getting it could prove tricky cult. Yeah, 49% are you having a giggle? I could lower that if I get the next admin idea. Could well do that. But then we're getting plenty just from uh, war score, as we should do. Alright, scratch one bogey. What unique buildings are available right now, Jake? Fine Arts Academy, which I'm not very... I don't care. Oh no, now it does unlock a very nice event. So let's have the Fine Art Academy of the Faroe Islands. I don't think the Glorious Monument unlocks much of interest. Yeah, there's a lovely event associated with the Fine Arts Academy where you can sell a piece of priceless art. It gives you a boon dollar, so it does. Oh, now, now, Siberia, don't be costing me war score. the worst. Oh my. Oh. Oh dearie me. Get to work, lads. Show them Swedish steel. A bit embarrassing that I rely on Poland for help. score in our favour if it's not already maxed out from battles. Yeah. Length of war modifier is a cruel mistress. One idea would be to take this province so that I can make my move here. However, you are allied with France. And no amount of my espionaging is going to come uh, come and beat that down. <clears throat> Somebody's saying to take this province because my borders will look nicer. Well, I do have a glut of points, don't I? Perhaps once Istanbul falls. Yeah, I reckon I could get it if it's cheap enough. Hmm, Sweden, you've made a terrible mistake there. It's nice bordering people that have colonial nations whilst you yourself do not, because you get those import 
uh, events which give you two mercantilism. Remember, mercantilism is a fantastic thing to have, and it's always good. Some people ask sometimes, "Do I want good? Mer uh, do I want high mercantilism or low mer mercantilism?" You always want high mercantilism. There is no situation where it is better to have low mercantilism. There used to be a certain decision. I think it was East Aid, East Trade. Something to do with trading, which you could only unlock with low mercantilism, but that is no longer the case. Okay guys, this is taking too long. If you don't make it on this, I'm going to order an assault and it will be bloody. Get in there. I'll take that province to smooth out our borders and what are you doing, Mali? What are you doing, Mali? Mali, this is what causes wars. Rightfully so, Silesia left that coalition. They know better. I think uh, Austria is doing me a favour here, as long as this isn't a uh, restoration of the Union Cassus. With a bit of luck, they'll take some of this land. They'll reduce Bohemia down to something that we chewed up and spat out in one go. Save me dealing with our increased coring costs, which is terrible. Ka ching Okay, at the turn of the year, I can fairly happily take the next admin tech. Well, just in time. Oh, Ulmer out of the coalition. I am saved. Alright, that's enough out of you, Crimea. Give me that one province. Yeah, that length of war modifier. Minus 30. Certainly get around it by demolishing their men. Let's get the Pied Piper on the case. I'll get around some of it by demolishing their men. Alright, Lubeck, I can finally do you. Is my war exhaustion getting a bit high? thought it was, uh... No, I had a bunch of time dossing around doing nothing. Someone's asking to see the culture map mode. Here we go. It's nothing too spectacular just yet. All we've really done is eradicate Finnish and Danish culture, so uh, nothing of value has been lost. Alright, they're going for the lower dawn. They will probably make it in time to ruin somebody's day. But don't worry, Saxy. Okay, worry, Saxy. I can't save you like that. Or can I? Just hold out. Just hold slightly. It's just not your day, Auto Man. If that is your real name. Gee, not even willing for a white piece when their capital and three other provinces are gone. Ah, it's Crimea for you. Well, maybe I could just take it from the Ottoman himself. Or not. Alright, well, I got a, an even more cunning plan. Azov is an important centre of trade, or rather, an estuary. Jake, why don't you eradicate Swedish culture? Unfortunately, I can't do that because I'm playing as Sweden. Swedish is not an accepted culture in Sweden. Swedish cannot be removed from a province as long as Sweden exists as a nation. So there goes that idea. I would have to culture convert my country to Swedish, form Scandinavia, convert myself back to Sami culture, and then remove Swedish. And to be honest, I never want to form Scandinavia because it's utterly disgusting. Utterly disgusting. 
Okay, it's January now, meaning we can take our next admin tech. That administrative efficiency means our piece deal is now significantly cheaper. Oh, nice of Ragusa to even take that province. However, it will make them like me more if I just return it to them. So I think we'll do just this. Take a, a bit of your dosh. No, not happy with that. Even a little, little bit. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Hmm. That's odd. Where is it? It should say uh, returned cores, but apparently not. Alright, speaking of coring, let's get this done. Some of you take care of it, the rest of you... Actually, you take care of that, the one with the general take care of the enemy. And hang out in Moscow, because I think... Oh, okay, we've already done it. Great. Hmm, Saxony, you are going to be a pain, aren't you? Well, I only need 40 with you. Some of that I can do with a little gift. Jake, why does Albania exist? Um, Albania won their initial war against the Ottomans and forced them to revoke their core. So, let's not have any bad words about Albania. Sub you up as well, let's just give you everything. Wow, that's going to cost me quite a bit to get you up, but that's, that's alright. Jake, convert Moscow to bring every Russian watching this to tears. Oh, culture convert Moscow. There is really no reason to do that. Russian is an accepted culture. Good old Russian. Jake, buy more buildings for Poland. Um... Everything will be done in a year, so there's very little reason to do so. In fact, I wonder, would those buildings stay when I inherit them? Are you actually going to build more buildings with that money? Hmm. Really revolting. Uh, no, that's fine. All right, Mali, you have gone a step too far, especially. No, you're coring that. You're not converting it. Right, you're going to have to die, I'm afraid. The only downside is that you have Morocco on your side. Not that Morocco are much to be fearful of still. All I'm going to want is one province and the release of Ashanti. I'll cut you off from them. Still Morocco, at the size they are, considering they own Fez. No, I shouldn't be fearful of Morocco. She'll crush them in an instant. But I want to start my annexation first. Jake, please, you should stress out A in Moskva, not O. Uh, nah, you're alright. I 
wonder if I can get Croatia inside me before Poland are finished. I can almost begin Saxony, but I want Croatia as well. We're still improving those relations. We can get them up another 25, but still, they'll be done inside like 8 months. 8, 10, 20, 1, 6... Seven. Oh, could potentially do it. Let's get that gift in whilst we still can. Oh, of course. What am I thinking? Royal marriages. No, oh, we've already got that going. You sure are milking those subsidies, Saxony. Come on. Does Saxony already have ten years of it? Oh, you're joshing me. Can't be done until May. Okay, but you'll be done in June, so that's that. Wow, that was close. How about you, Croatia? You're fine. Is it even worth having such an expensive advisor when we don't need mill? <laughs> okay, so I need to start your annexation in May. Croatia? I don't think we can get you going just yet. You're not nearly not anywhere close to it. Oh well, we'll get you done anyway. Jake, what is that religion-linked stability event you keep getting? I used it in Ryukyu, and I might as well use it here whilst I'm running another pagan. Basically, if you have a pa if you are of a pagan religion and you border a Catholic, a Protestant, a Sunni, a Shia, or a Buddhist who has more than a hundred opinion of you, and for me that individual is Sexy Longberg then uh, that mission can trigger. For every province you have, you have a, a chance every 5,000 months of getting it. The more pagan provinces you have, the better. And if those provinces are not of your own culture, then it's even more likely to fire. Twice as likely, in fact. All right, let's get Saxony inside us. They are a drain on our wallet here. We can begin it on the 12th. Let's-a go. Which also means we have to cancel those subsidies. As soon as you click that Annex Vassal button, you're all set. Somebody's telling me to get some mill buildings going. Not a bad idea. cancel those subsidies, and I think everything is A-OK. -okay. There's a small batter of Siberia. I still want them inside of me, but I have to wait until 89 to begin with that. Well, that's OK. Let's get those, an get those vassals inside of us. Also, thanks for the troops. I just lost a whole bunch of claims. I think it's because my truce ran out with Austria, who I had quite a few with. Let's just get them back, because I do fancy them. Also, Bohemia are small enough I can one-shot them. And it's almost time to go and wreck Ming's day. We'll send over a few more troops, because I feel we're a little lacking in that respect. However, I do also need to fight Mao. Oh, 5,000. 
That's a lot of ducat. That is a lot of ducat, but so is that. And 10 years of 15% trade efficiency. Well, if we made 10 08 then. And now we make, okay, so basically let's say we make 10 extra ducats a month, 120 a year, 1,200 for that many years. All right, so we lost out on 4,000, we paid 4,000 ducats for 50 admin. Too bad. Finally, finally we get an Inquisitor when we don't really need him. Well, Warsaw might be a pain without one. Still good. <sighs> it's just too peaceful. There's a thought you will no longer give us our free stability because you hate us for annexing all those vassals. But the thing is, we'll get Saxony done, and I kind of really want Croatia done. And I also want Siberia done. I just want everything. Is that wrong? Yeah, I need to fight Mali. This much is true. Especially since he's very quickly going to convert that. The thing is, I want this land so that I can launch my own invasion of Rome. Rome, who is only allied with Genoa, and they're not even the coalition against me. I could no CB them. Nobody would even care. You just sail around, take Rome, core it, and just laugh the cost away. I want to no CB Rome. I also want to annex Siberia. Okay, right, we'll begin annexing Siberia. And then we will attack Mali. We're a little short on everything down here. Perhaps I should have done this a while back, but I did not. You're not a colony, so we got. Yeah, we can do this. Work to our strengths down here. Jake, can you briefly recap what you did so far in this stream? Well, I think that would be a kind thing to do for anyone that uh, hasn't been following or couldn't follow. I played a Sweden. Day one, I got, uh, got an independent support from Hansa. I crushed Denmark and Norway in my independence war. I then vassalized some people around me, such as Sweden and uh, Novgorod and Norway and possibly even Denmark. Sold everything to Finland except for Lapland, moved my capital to Lapland. I went bankrupt to adopt the culture of Sami and the religion of shamanist, reintegrated my vassals and then went on a rampage to spread shamanist far and wide. I look forward to removing these provinces and converting these so that shamanists should read pretty largely here. Uh, I have been protecting and releasing Ming in order to uh, dump my aggressive expansion, and that's been working fairly well. If you're wondering how the removing your aggressive expansion trick works, well, I'll be using it again shortly, so no need to worry there, girly. Gee, that is pretty much begging me to no CB roam. Begging me. It would be so easy. No one would care. Alright, Croatia, well, you, you will join us eventually anyway. Just need to get this stack down to Dalmatia. I also have to hope nobody fights our cogs. Nah, there are plenty of cogs. We'll be okay. 
get you to Ragusa then. How are you doing on those conversions? Nothing at all. As expected. Alright, no CBU, and then go for you. Someone said do it, Jake. Who are you? Motor oil spill. Alright, in the name of motor oil spill, Rome shall become shamanist. Francis, defender of the Catholic faith, and will protect them. What? Should have thought of that, shouldn't I? that. Swedish diplomatic reputation would not be enough. Hmm. Your trouble is that it's a distant war, but Morocco isn't distant. Morocco isn't distant at all. I have a cunning plan. A very cunning plan. Hold on, wasn't I meant to start the integration of Siberia first? Like, right now? Well, it'll come later. Alright, Morocco, just need to get involved and then everything will be hunky-dory. Right, well, we need to stop Kamas first. Come on, Morocco, come on. Get involved. Oh, that's a dire event. Ah, uh, Morocco. Something about a war. Please, Morocco. I'm, I'm not begging you, but I'm begging you. This event can't stay up forever, you know, and I don't want Poltava to change to Protestant. Yeah, there we go. They joined. Hey, France, you still don't want to join because it's distant. Morocco's right there. Come on. Yeah, hiring the dip advisor wouldn't be enough. He would give me an extra 10 reasons. Whereas I need an extra 15. Well, you seem unconvinced, so I'll show you. There you go. I'd still need another 4. And that, uh... That wouldn't be good enough. You're terrible, friends. Just terrible. Just do it, France. You're, just do it, Jake. Your Swedish super soldiers can defeat France. There's no question that I can defeat France, but I certainly don't want them in the coalition. There was never any question about that. Kazan gets a new national idea, no cost for reinforcing. I bet this will be exploitable. That's not new. All hordes have had that. I know Kazan get new ideas, but that's just part of it. So there's nothing newly exploitable there. It's always always been fun using the no cost for reinforcements. Regardless. Alright, Sane grew super fast. <laughs> 